Hello. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a project that's got a pretty simple end product, but uh, the tools used to make it were pretty cool and made what would have been a hard project otherwise actually incredibly simple. So the project I'm talking about is this cutlery organizer, which fits exactly into a pretty weirdly shaped drawer I've got. I was able to do that using a laser cutter. And laser cutters are amazing. It's a high power laser which cuts through flat material, be it wood, acrylic, cardboard, and it just cuts out shapes that you feed in with a 2D file, basically just containing lines. So how did I make this? Well, I started by going to a website called Makercase, and I used that to auto-generate a template with notched edges for a box with the dimensions of 13 by 9.5 by 2 inches. Um, I didn't want the cutlery drawer to be closed in like a box though, and I needed to add some organizers. So then I downloaded the template, and I opened it in a program called Inkscape. And then in Inkscape, I smoothed out the top edges, and I modified the edges to include spaces for these two inserts, and this piece that runs across. Once I was done modifying the template, I just had to take this design to the laser cutter. And in total, it took about 15 minutes of cutting time, uh, not even. And then I just slotted the pieces together, put some wood glue along the seams, and let that glue sit. So that took about 15 more minutes. Uh, and overall, from beginning the cut to having the assembled drawer, it took uh, 30 to 45 minutes. I ended up using $4 in materials for the wood. I also got to learn Inkscape. I think what's really fun and cool about this project is how easy it was to take a template and have wood in the shapes I needed it to be that you can just assemble it. Um, so it was very easy, it was cheap, it was fun. I think it's a great first project on a laser cutter, and everybody's got a weird drawer in their house that they need some more organization in. Um, yeah, so download those designs, take a look at how I did it. I've got a blog post with some pictures and a little more detail about the drawing. And uh, yeah, I hope, hope you have good luck with your first laser cuts as well. Thanks for watching.